Hello, dear English learners. I hope you're fine. Today, we'll be practicing how to greet others in different situations. Basically, to greet people, we can use three terms. We have hello, hi, and hey. Number one, hello. It is a formal term used all over the world as an accepted way to greet others. So remember to use hello when meeting someone in authority or maybe your colleague, professor, teacher, etc. For example, hello Mrs. Taylor, it's been pretty a long time since we last met. This sentence means the last time we saw each other was a long time ago. Number two, hi. It is a term that is casual. It's a word used to greet people of all ages and classes. It is considered somewhat less formal than hello. Guys, in the first line, the word casual means something which is friendly or informal. And I'm emphasizing the word hi is less formal than hello. And it's used uh, when meeting your friends, I mean, close friends, relatives, don't know, family members, etc. For example, John is your friend. You can say, hi, John, how are you doing? By the way, native speakers mostly say, how are you doing? They seldom use, how are you doing? Number three, hey. It is a word that is very informal, but increasingly being used by young generation to greet buddies and even strangers these days. Remember, there are many who find this word offensive and rather cold. For example, hey Jack, how you doing man, long time no see. Remember, although the term hey is increasingly being used by people and especially young generation, there are a lot of people who find this offensive today. So be very careful when and where to use it. By the way, the term hey is also used as a way to attract someone's attention. Imagine you came back home from work facing a stranger doing something suspicious in your place. To attract his attention, you say, hey, what the hell are you doing here? Now it's time to talk over hello there, hi there, and hey there. They can all have friendlier or more flirty connotation. Remember, when someone greets you with hello there, hi there, or maybe hey there, you can simply reply hello, hi, or hey. If you just received an email with hi there, however, it is safer to assume the person or organization is just being friendly and warm with you. So from now on, if faced with an email greeting you with hi there, hello there, etc., it means the person or organization is trying to make a warm atmosphere. How to answer when asked, how are you? There are countless ways to respond to this. Yet, many people struggle with finding the best response. But don't worry, here I've gathered a few expert tips on answering the questions, how are you? When asked, how are you, in a formal situation and if feeling well, you can respond. Number one, I'm fine, thank you, 
How about you? Number two, fine, thank you, and you? Number three, I'm all right, what about you? Number four, not too bad, thank you. Number five, fairly good, thank you. Number six, I'm good, thank you so much. Number seven, not bad, thank you. Number eight, I'm okay, thank you. And number nine, very well, thank you. When asked how are you in a formal situation and if feeling unwell, you can respond. Number one, Honestly, I'm not good. Thanks for asking. Number two, not so good. Number three, I'm feeling unwell today. Number four, I'm feeling sick. Number five, I'm indisposed a little today. Number six, I'm not all right. Number seven, I don't feel very well. Number eight, I'm slightly ill today. Number nine, not so great. When asked how are you doing, in an informal situation and if feeling well, you can respond. Number one, I'm doing good. I'm doing great. And I'm doing well. Number two, can't complain. This sentence is used to say that the situation is satisfactory. Number three, I'm pretty good, thanks. Number four, couldn't be better, means one's well-being is perfect, exactly as desired. Number five, so-so. So-so means neither a very good nor a very bad. Something in the middle. Number six. I'm hanging in there. Something like I'm surviving or maybe I'm okay, but usually used when something bad happened to someone. Let me give you an example in the next slide so that you can fully understand what I mean. For example, you just uh, lost your puppy in an accident and your friends ask, how are you doing? In such situations, you can say, I'm hanging in there. Number seven, much better now that you are with me. Or we can also say, all the better for seeing you. Actually, these two sentences are used to flirtatiously express your feeling when meeting someone you probably love. Number 8. As fit as a fiddle. This sentence means to be healthy and energetic. For example, I had a surgery a few months ago, but I am as fit as a fiddle now. Number nine, I'm in good spirits. To be in good spirits means to feel happy or cheerful and generally to be in a good mood. Example, well, you're in good spirits. You must have passed that test you were worried about. Number 10. I'm on cloud nine. 
means to be extremely happy or excited. Example, he's been on cloud 9 ever since he was promoted to manager. Number 11, over the moon, means to be very pleased about something. Example, I'm over the moon about a new job offer, but my dad has kicked off as it would mean moving away from home. In this sentence, my dad has kicked off means my dad became angry. Number 12. I'm in seventh heaven means extreme happiness. For example, I would be in seventh heaven if I had a million dollars. When asked how are you doing in an informal situation and if feeling unwell, you can respond. Number one, I've been better. Here, I've been better can mean the person isn't feeling well physically in various degrees. It can also mean the person isn't feeling well emotionally because of getting bad news or whatever reason. Number two, I'm feeling down today. To feel down basically means to feel dejected or depressed. Example, she's been feeling down ever since she figured out she didn't get the job. In this sentence, to figure out has the same meaning as to find out. Number three, not so hot, or we can also say not too hot. Remember guys, not too hot and not too hot are very informal response. It means not very well or maybe not very healthy. For example, how do you feel today? Not so hot. Number four, I'm not doing well. Number five, I'm down in the dumps, means to feel very sad. Example, she's a bit down in the dumps since her visa application was rejected. Number six, I feel awful, or I feel terrible. Number seven, I'm feeling blue. To feel blue basically means to be depressed or to be sad. Example, since my girlfriend left me, I've been feeling blue. Number eight, I am frankly not in a good mood. Basically, when you say you're not in a good mood, means uh, you're feeling angry or you're impatient. Number 9. I'm feeling under the weather. To feel under the weather basically means to feel ill or slightly unwell, and even sometimes it can mean to be in low spirits. For example, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, I think I'm getting a cold. Number 10. I'm out of sorts. To be out of sorts basically means to be slightly ill, irritable, or maybe grouchy. Let me give you an example so you can uh, completely understand the sentence. For example, I think something is bugging Alex because he's been rather out of sorts lately. Uh, something is bugging Alex means something is annoying Alex or something is irritating Alex. 
Okay guys, we are done with episode number one. If you study this episode carefully, you will be probably able to respond how are you and how are you doing in different ways both in formal and informal situations. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your comment in the comment section and say what would you like me to post as next topic. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.